and welcome to 4-Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. And in this video, we'll show you how you can customize the look of your pages in Notion. Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. Subscribe to 4-Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. As you can see, the default pages in Notion are not very exciting. White background, black type, even if you change the color of fonts, they're not very bold. How can you customize the look? Well, on every page, you can add an icon and cover art. And remember that since everything in Notion is ultimately a page, after you use it for a while, you'll have hundreds of pages, if not thousands eventually of pages. Uh, in addition, one of the other things you can change in Notion is they've got a dark mode option. So we'll look at all three of these things. So starting with our ideas to consider database, uh, in order to change the cover art, if you hover over the title, you can see where it says add cover. Yeah, click on that, and Notion is going to assign a random cover for you, but it's easy enough to change. As you scroll over here, just click on Change Cover. Notion has a library. It's a limited library of art that you can use. Uh, you can go to Unsplash and use some of their art, or you can upload something if you've got an image of your own that you want to use. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to choose the globe, and it takes just a second. Now, if I need to reposition that, let's say I want to bring it so I really want to just see the top part of the globe. I can do that. Just drag it down and then click Save Position. And now I've got an image up there that I like. Now, it's possible that I do want to remove it. I can just remove it. But if all I want to do is replace it, I just click on another one and it will replace it. So that is changing your cover art. Now, if I want to add an icon, I'll click again over ideas to consider over the title, click on add an icon, and Notion will again randomly uh, put an icon on there, but I can um, change that. I can add an emoji, uh, I can upload an image or a link. So I want a light bulb, I just am gonna search for an emoji that's a light bulb, and there you go. Now, if I want to, I can remove it just by clicking this, or I could replace it by clicking on something else. So simply, that's how you uh, change the cover art, and also how you customize your icon. Now to do to dark to go to dark mode to test that, you'll go over here to navigation and under settings and members, you click on that, and down on the left hand side you'll see a toggle for dark mode. Click on dark mode, and now you've got a page that's all dark mode. Now one of the things to remember about dark mode is when you use dark mode, it applies to every page that you have in all of your Notion. Whereas in these other changes that you've made, the cover art and the icon, that only applies to the page that you're on. So dark mode is one of those things that's universal, which also makes it one of those things that's easy to try for a while. And if you decide you don't like it, you just go back into settings and members, click on dark mode to, to turn the toggle off in your set. All right. So now you've customized the look of your page by adding your cover art and icons, and you've played around with dark mode, and your notion is really becoming uniquely yours. If you have questions or comments about this or any other aspect of Notion, add it in the comments below. And be sure to check out our other 4-minute videos to help you become a Notion Pro quickly. Thanks, and see you soon.